Is your memory integrity grayed out or won't turn on or off? Then you are at the right place as here is how to fix it. Let's get started. This is the Windows Club. Memory integrity is one feature of core isolation which regularly verifies the integrity of the code, running those core processes in an attempt to prevent any attacks from altering them. This video provides solutions to memory integrity grayed out or won't turn on or off for device security in Windows Security app on Windows computer. Let's get started. Method 1. Initial Checklist Before you try the solutions, do these and after each task, check if you can turn on or off memory integrity without issues. Restart PC Make sure that hardware virtualization is enabled in BIOS firmware. Next, run SFC scan and depending on the outcome, follow up with DISM scan. To do that, in the elevated command prompt window, type this command and press enter SFC slash scan now. Wait for the scan to complete. This process might take some time. If any issues are found, Windows will attempt to fix them automatically. Next, run these DISM commands one by one, pressing enter after each. DISM slash online slash cleanup hyphen image slash check help. DISM slash online slash cleanup hyphen image slash scan help. DISM slash online slash cleanup hyphen image slash restore help. It's normal for the process to appear stuck at 20% or 40%. Do not interrupt it. After a few minutes, it will continue and complete successfully. Once all the scans are complete, DISM will connect to Windows Update if needed to download and replace any corrupted files. Next, you can reset Windows Security app. To repair or reset Windows Security, open the Windows Settings app and select System Settings from the left side. On the right side, click on System Components. Next, locate Windows Security and click on the three dots link to show the advanced options fly out. Click on it. Now you will see the options to repair or reset the Windows Security app. Choose the option you desire, click the button and wait for the process to complete. Update Windows. Install any available bits on your Windows 11 or 10 device and see if the issue in focus is resolved. On the other hand, if the error started after a recent Windows update, you can perform System Restore or uninstall the update. If you see this Get setting is managed by your administrator, it is possible a group policy has been applied to your computer. In this case, contact your IT admin or system admin as credential guard might need to be disabled. However, if your system is not part of a domain, you can try the other fixes suggested in this post. Method 2. Update Drivers If memory integrity is grayed out or won't turn on or off on your Windows 11 or 10 PC, it could be due to Windows cannot load the drivers required for the device. In this case, to resolve the issue, you can install an alternate or updated driver from the OEM. The driver you are currently using may be outdated or has a vulnerability because of which Windows is not loading the driver. If Windows Update cannot find a suitable driver for you, then you can download the latest version of the driver from the hardware manufacturer website. Install a generic driver. Microsoft offers generic drivers for any hardware. It will make sure that you can use the device but with limited functionality. To install a generic driver, simply uninstall the driver for the device in question and then restart your PC on boot. Windows will scan for hardware changes and automatically reinstall the generic driver. To do so, press Win plus I to open Windows Settings. Go to System, then Recovery. Click on the Restart Now button. Choose Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then Command Prompt. Enter C colon in the Command Prompt. Enter this command. DISM slash image colon C colon slash then forward slash get hyphen drivers. Note down the published name. Enter this command. DISM slash image colon C colon black slash forward slash remove hyphen driver slash driver colon OEM 0 dot INF. For more details, you can follow this guide. If you have an unsigned driver that will work, you can install the driver following this guide, but first you need to disable driver signature enforcement. To do that, go to Windows Settings, the system, then select Recovery. Under Advanced Startup, 
Click Restart Now. After Restart, click Troubleshoot then Advanced Options then Startup Settings. Click Restart. When your PC restarts, press F7 or number 7 to choose Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. Once done, your PC should reboot with Driver Signature Enforcement disabled. So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.